Hi, uh, this is Kinetics 109, part three, or sorry, part four. And this is the sixth point about mechanisms. And um, what we're gonna talk about here first is just a really quick definition um, to help you understand um, the process of assuming a fast equilibrium. So just as a side note, because we haven't defined equilibrium yet, um, equilibrium is a condition that a reaction can achieve where the forward reaction occurs at the same rate as the reverse reaction. Um, so if the forward reaction is A makes B, then the reverse reaction is B makes A. And if a system is at equilibrium, then we show it with uh, a double arrow like this, A in equilibrium with B, or uh, a double arrow of this nature. <coughs> so we could say that B's concentration is dependent on A's and vice versa. Okay, so the reason that we're defining all of this is that um, we wanna be able to use this information um, in deciding whether or not a reaction mechanism is plausible. Um, so we're gonna say, um, I'm gonna use a different color here. Um, this is point number six. If there is a um, fast step first. Um, so the rate determining step is step to or beyond. Then um, you can assume um, the fast step is an equilibrium step. Um, and so you can solve for the concentration of an intermediate in terms of a reactant, an actual reactant. Okay, so, um, I'm going to show you this as part of an example, and I'm actually going to switch to another page to do the example. And so, God, this server here will not go away. I'm so sorry. Okay, so let's say, for instance, um, if we have an overall reaction. of um, 2A plus 2B makes C plus D. Let me get this squared away. And that's our overall reaction. And the observed rate law is rate equals K times concentration of A squared times concentration of B. Okay, so remember that this is the observed rate law. And we are given a suggested mechanism <coughs> that looks like this. We're going to have um, three steps. We'll have the first step will be A plus A makes X. And this is a fast step. And X plus B makes C plus Y. And this is a slow step, so that's our rate determining step. And then we have Y plus B makes D. And this is also a fast step. Okay, so we want to know, um, does the expected rate law from this mechanism match the observed rate law um, that's given in the problem. Okay, so the expected rate law 
comes from the rate determining step. which is right here. So our expected rate law would be equal to um, rate equals um, K times concentration of X times concentration of B. Okay, so um, here, so we can see um, this doesn't match this that we might be able to do a little bit of algebra that will allow us uh, to match this with this. So we wanna recognize that X is an intermediate. And if we assume step one is a fast equilibrium, then uh, the concentration of X is gonna be um, dependent on the concentration of A, the concentration of uh, 2A, for example, right? So we can substitute, what we can do is we can substitute the concentration of X for the concentration of A squared because we're assuming that this is a fast equilibrium. So we would say, assume fast equilibrium. Um, therefore, the concentration of X equals uh, the concentration of A squared. So you can see here, this is A times A, which would be A squared. Um, therefore, um, our observed rate law can be rewritten, or we'll just start with the observed rate law, is K equals X times concentration of B. And if we know that concentration of X is equal to the concentration of A squared, then we can substitute and say rate equals K times concentration of A squared times concentration of <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> hopefully that just continued to record. Um, times concentration of B. So we can match um, the observed rate law to the expected rate law and give this mechanism a thumbs up. Okay, so um, we can say observed rate law equals the expected rate law. So yes, the mechanism is plausible after we of course check the algebra um, to make sure um, that the mechanism does give the overall rate or does give the overall reaction so we can do that really quick a plus a makes x x plus b makes c plus y and y plus b makes d so we want to cancel out all of our um, intermediate, so X cancels, um, Y cancels, and we're left with 2A plus 2B makes C plus D. So the algebra checks, and if we assume a fast equilibrium, then the um, rate laws check out and we're good to go. Okay, so assuming a fast equilibrium just allows you to determine that the concentration of an intermediate is dependent upon um, concentration of the reactants that are um, in this assumed fast equilibrium. So we assume a fast equilibrium right there. So, okay, that's it. And I'm sure you guys will have questions and um, I should be there on Friday. Okay, hope you're doing good. Talk to you soon, bye.